Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Horizontal and this is episode 182 of the World Famous University Love Podcast, also known as Online Marketing Moves. Today is January the 21st, 2021. And today we are going to talk about disruptors and why you are a disruptor. Okay? Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of companies that have came along and disrupted industries. You know, you got SpaceX, the one that comes to Elon Musk. Um, he has two, Tesla and SpaceX. SpaceX takes on NASA, you know, and Tesla takes on all, you know, Ford, all types of different companies. So you have those two. You have companies like Lyft, who now, uh, you know, of course, if they're still cab companies, cab companies are very upset, very annoyed with Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, people like that. You have the grub hubs of the world. You have, you know, like Robin Hood for the stocks. You have all kinds of companies that are disruptors. And you, my friend, are also a disruptor. So, now, why are you a disruptor? You are one because you are breaking tradition. You know, most people, they like to get a job and then they work at the job for 30 to 40 years. Sometimes they may switch jobs once or twice. Sometimes they may switch careers. But you are going into a whole different direction. You are aiming to be an entrepreneur. You are aiming to start a business online. You are I'm gonna make this into a full time. You are gonna make this into a full time income. So you, my friend, are also on the list of disruptors. Now, I tell you this to say, hey, when you want to do something different, people are gonna people are gonna look at you strange when you tell people, "Oh, I make money online." They might look at you strange, but don't worry about that. Even your family, your friends are going to kind of stare at you sometimes and look at you kind of strange like, what are you doing? How is this making money? Why is this making money? And when am I going to start seeing this money? You're going to hear a lot of that. But what you have to do is you just have to hunker down. You have to just take it one day at a time. Believe in yourself. Keep going. Keep striving because you will get to where you want to go. And sooner than later, you know, as long as you take action every day, you will get to the point where you say, hey, see how, see this money I'm making? This is why I wanted to work for myself. This is why I'm I'm in the online business. This is why I created an online business for myself so I can make this kind of money. Being a disruptor is hard work, but it can be done. It can be done. You see, there's plenty of companies that have, in all different types of um, industries, have come along and disrupted, you know, the industry or disrupted how things go. Even like Walmart back in the day, <clears throat> I was listening to the Sam Walton book and he said how stores used to be a certain way and they would sell a certain, they would sell products at a certain price. He came along, he would go to different stores, he would look and be like, I'm chopping that price down by <laughs> two bucks, three bucks, you know, and people was upset, people was annoyed, but I mean, Walmart's a billion dollar company now, so, you know, even back in their day, they were sort of a disruptor, you know. Places like Rent the rent the Runway, where you can rent like a dress or whatever, you know, that's disruption, you know. Most people go, they buy a whole wedding dress of $1,500 and they never wear it again. <clears throat> sort, of like my, sort of like my wife. My wife bought a dress for $1,500 and she still hasn't worn it to dinner yet, so... I mean, she wore it to our wedding, but not to. I'm still waiting on her to wear it to dinner. You know, you have places like Duolingo. You have all kinds of places. So, <clears throat> if you ever get sort of down in the mouth, if you ever get kind of discouraged, just type in disruptors. Type in companies that have disrupted industries, and you will you will find motivation. You will find some, uh, you know. So definitely you will find some good gems, some good stories about how they got started, why they got started, you know, what kept them going, all time, all kinds of things. So, you know, <clears throat> I was thinking about this when I was at work the other day because I was thinking, you know, I'm dropping the, dropping the trail off, dropping the load off. And of course, I'm just, you know, I'm ready to get done because I'm ready to go do my podcast. And I was like, 
you know, I'm looking around, I see all these other gentlemen, you know, doing work and they were sitting around talking to each other. And I said, I wonder how many of these guys are going home to do a podcast. How many of these people right now where I'm at are trying to start an online business? I want, that would be, that was interesting to me. It just, it was a quick flash and I thought, hmm. I know I'm one. I don't know about the rest of them, but I'm definitely one of them because I don't really, you know, I come in, I get my, I do my work at night and then I leave. I come back and I get to it, you know, get down doing the podcast, you know, starting up the videos, you know, we'll get the whole thing going because I'm like, you know, six months from now, a year from now, I definitely want to be, you know, home every night doing my full time online business. I want to disrupt myself from the trucking industry and uh, create a business of my own. You know what I mean? So, well, I've, I've already created the business. Now we just have to get the business to where we need it to be to start to become full time in the business. You know what I mean? So that's what, that's what made me think about disruption and you being a disruptor. So Congratulations, you are here to disrupt yourself from from the life you was living into a whole new world, you know. Maybe you want to, I don't know, maybe you want to record videos while you're at the beach. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. Now, I listen to a lot of, me, myself, I listen to a lot of business podcasts. I read a lot of books about business and all that kind of stuff, so. <clears throat> if you ever need some motivation, if you if you ever need some uh, some thoughts, some uh, some some tips, some tricks, there's plenty of books you can read. Plenty of uh, people that have started businesses and companies. You know, like I told you before, I read Steve Jobs, Walt Disney. Yeah, those two were those two were those two were excellent books to to read. So <clears throat> don't worry about don't worry about people staring at you if you say, "Hey, I'm I'm starting an online business." People People will look at you crazy. People will look at you strange and they go, huh, you can make money from that? And it's like, of course you can. You should try it out. Not, it doesn't matter. If they want to try it out, they do. If they don't, they don't. It doesn't really matter. As long as, long as, as, long as you want to try it out, as long as it makes you happy, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. But that's it for now. That's it for the podcast. We will be back tomorrow. And I'm going to give you a tease for tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we are going to discuss upsetting okay and saturday we're going to discuss well i'll tell you tomorrow but tomorrow friday friday's episode we're going to discuss upsetting but until then my name is tony Rizzano. it's nice talking to you and we will see you later and as always everybody peace